Gotcha. What's up, money geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, we are going to talk about ticket symbol I N O Innovio Pharmaceutical. Again, this is one of the plays that is working on a vaccine for COVID-19, and I've covered that here on the channel. I've told you guys why I think this company has a huge potential. If you haven't watched any of the videos, I'm definitely going to hook them here so you can go watch them. But in today's video, I want to talk about why the stock actually spiked this week. For some reason, the stock has been just slipping in the last five months there hasn't been a, a ton of price movement but it just kind of jumped in and spikes so that's what i wanted to cover in today's video but before we get started guys if you're new to the channel we talk about how to earn money how to save money how to invest and build wealth so if that's something that interests you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content so again guys when it comes to innovio uh, this is one of the companies that is working on the vaccine for COVID-19, like I've said, and the difference between the vaccine and all the other guys that you see in the market like Pfizer and Moderna is because those companies do the traditional mRNA vaccine and Innovio is working on a DNA vaccine, which it's groundbreaking. It's something that has never been done before. And so that is the approach that they're doing. So not only are they building or working on vaccines for COVID-19, they're also working on other vaccines for cancer and some other infectious diseases. So that's why I really like the company. But so far, they've been getting into some huddles with the FDA, uh, partially or slowly blocking them from you know continuing their trials and stuff like that. So I'm not going to get into the details of that. But uh, the reason why I want to talk about the stock moving was um, let's jump right here in the news I'm gonna show you guys so there was actually um, a call on reddit on Monday somebody had called uh, you know to action uh, on reddit that they should take a look at Innovio and that actually when people started looking at it that stock moved and then the other reason why the stock also moved was that these guys um, BlackRock actually invested um, more money into the company. So right now they have about 14.2 million shares of Innovio, which is about 8.4% uh, of the company. So those two things put together are the reasons why the stock has been moving. Again, if you notice the stock can move to a new high, I, I think a, a five month high uh, compared to where it was trading before. A lot of people, again, on Reddit were mad that the FDA is corrupt, that the FDA is actually favoring the big uh, pharmaceutical companies like the Pfizer's and the Moderna and the Johnson & Johnson, and they are not giving uh, Innovio the same shot that they give these other companies. So there's some corruption in there and people are the people working there are favoring those bigger companies than Innovio. So again, if you think about what happened with GameStop and them going against Wall Street, it's pretty much the exact same thing. It looks like, hey, we're going to fight corruption by showing people or exposing the stock to making sure that the stock really, uh, it, the company is doing something good. So that is one of the, the, the two reasons why this company has been um, popping. So let's look at the chart. The stock has just been quiet um, the last five months. Not so much movement. It pulled down to as, as low as like eight dollars and some change, and then just slowly. But this is this week where this thing just went uh, crazy and went to to a high of about nineteen dollars, and and then pulled back uh, this morning when I was doing this video, sitting somewhere about fourteen dollars and some change. But again, guys, this is a company that to me is working on changing how we create vaccines. So I'm giving them the, the long-term benefit here. I don't want to rush this one. So if you're looking for some quick gains, this is definitely not a stock for you to invest in. So I picked up some positions and I'm holding this one long-term. Again, when the stock went down to right, like eight, nine dollars, I added some more in my position and I'm gonna keep building it each time it drops right now. I won't say jump in, just wait, because as soon as this whole thing quiets down, I anticipate that the price of the stock is gonna drop again. Uh, the only catalyst that I see that would move the price is when they have like an FDA approver or some good news about their vaccine. But right now, the fact that the only thing that pushed the price of the stock up is Reddit, and we've seen what happened with GameStop. It went up to 500 and came down to under $100. That would be the same thing. I don't want you to use that as a catalyst to jump into a stock. 
stock. So wait for a pullback. A good entry point for this stock would be somewhere around $10. If you can catch this stock at $9, $10 price point, load up on the stock and just sit and wait. Again, like I said, this one is a long-term play. This is not a get, uh, this is not a win tomorrow play. Give it time because as soon as this vaccine gets out there, there is so many good things about the company and the vaccine that uh, these other vaccines that we have uh, on the marketplace cannot even compete with. So definitely consider if you have a little chunk of money that you think you can put on the site and not worry about making a profit or growing it in the next five, six months, then you can definitely invest in this company. Again, guys, I I've talked about Innovio here, cover in depth. Go check out the videos and it will going to explain to you why uh, the vaccine is better than the other vaccines that are currently in the market. And so that is my personal take. Uh, again, right now, a good entry point would be that $9, $10 price point and then wait, we'll see where it's going to go. We've seen a company like Moderna go from $19 to $180 or two, over $200, I think, um, and the, just just because of the vaccine. So once this company gets to that point, you're going to see the, the price is going to move following uh, the news if they get approved by the FDA. So that's my take. Let me know in the comment section what you think. If you haven't already started a position again, like I said, guys, don't jump in right now. Pump the brakes. Wait for that pullback before you get in. Because if you buy now, you're going to be holding it back. Trust me. Don't do it. Don't buy at the top and then sell at the bottom. That's the wrong way to invest. It's, it's got to be the other way around. You got to buy at the bottom and sell at the top. So when you see this, I mean, get away, get away from your computer. Don't let FOMO get you. Don't think I'm missing out on this one. Unless you are day trading it, don't go buy this position right now thinking you want to hold it because you're going to end up holding it back. So wait. It's going to come to you. Set that price point of a $9 to $10. It's going to come. It's going to come back to you and then you can get in. If you're new to the channel, guys, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Also, if you're looking to get started with investing, we highly recommend Webo. Definitely go check it out. Links in the description below. And also, guys, if you're looking to support my work, the best way is to give it a thumbs up and share it with somebody that will find it useful. And as always, guys, do your due diligence. Don't be a greedy savage. Stay motivated.